we always have a wait list. To put things into perspective, last night the Crossroads House took in 72 people, nine families, and 17 children. Throughout 2022, it housed 427 people, including 17 families and 35 children. The average stay at Crossroads was 62 nights. That's because once you're in, you're given a bed, three meals a day, and a caseworker to set goals with for finding more permanent housing and getting care for your health needs. Crossroads says if you follow the rules and work towards those goals, you can stay as long as you need to, which has proven to be successful. The rehousing part is, is very difficult only because on the housing side of things, there is, as you know, very little housing to place people in. Crossroads Executive Director Waldolfo Arvello says that homelessness doesn't always look like tents on a sidewalk. It could be living in your car or in the woods or couch surfing with your friends or family. Arvello says one of the major issues causing the homelessness crisis in the state is the lack of affordable housing and the dramatic spike in rent during the pandemic. For somebody making 20 to 25 to 30 to 40 thousand dollars, it's almost become it becomes impossible. Now, Crossroads says what they think they're doing right here is utilizing all of the resources and community partners they have around them to try and offer the most support to the state's most vulnerable population. We're live in Portsmouth. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.